Hey, what's up? My name is Samuel Leeds, and one of the questions I get asked the most is, what is the best area to buy a property investment in right now and coming up to 2022? And it's like, ah, oh, there's so many good areas, but in this video, for the first time ever, I'm gonna reveal my five top areas that I would recommend for property investment strategies. And honestly, I didn't wanna put this video out because I didn't want everybody stealing all the best areas, stealing all the best properties. So if you enjoy my channel, please do me a favor, show a little bit of love, smash the like button. It literally, by hitting like, it doesn't take anything away from you. It doesn't cost anything to do it. You don't lose anything and it really helps me out because this video will get spread around, it helps the channel. So hit the like button. Also, if I don't mention the city that you thought I was gonna mention and you're surprised, let me know what your favorite uh, area is in the comments below. So, I'm gonna start from um, my least favorite to my most favorite, but these are all my favorite because there's, there's only five. Uh, so, number one is Newcastle. Newcastle cannot be messed with right now, coming up to 2022. I mean, for a start, Newcastle Football Club is now the richest football club in the world, which is just crazy. I went to watch the game recently. I bumped into Ant and Deck while I was in Newcastle, and it's just an incredible city. Also, when you're in Newcastle streets, the vibe, the energy is absolutely electric. I really think that Newcastle is gonna become a much more on the map type city over the next decade. And properties are so cheap there. I mean, I've got, I've got a friend called Ryan, one of my students, he, he's, he's, he's quite a well-known musician, and he bought a pub in Newcastle for 130 grand. He's turned it into a HMO. It's actually just outside Newcastle in a place called Gateshead, and it's now worth 700,000 pound. He, he's made an absolute killing, and I'm just seeing all my students doing it in Newcastle, so I'm really excited about Newcastle and I can see a lot of potential uplift. Also, the yields are good. So Newcastle, you're on the list. Number four is Blackpool. Blackpool. I didn't used to like Blackpool because my, some of my friends told me that it was a really rough area. So I always avoided Blackpool. And a few years ago, when I spent a week in Blackpool doing the Financial Freedom Challenge with Glenn, I fell in love with Blackpool as an investment area. The people are great, but this is why I like Blackpool. In Blackpool, house prices are cheaper today in many parts of Blackpool than they were 10 years ago. It is completely bottomed out. So the house prices are cheap as chips, which means that the yields are really good, the return on investment's really good. Here's something to note in Blackpool though. Although they are regenerating the area, the council are spending millions and millions of pounds in regenerating the area, so it's up and coming, it's right on the beach on the seaside, the closer you are to the center, the rougher it is. So if you're buying in Blackpool, be careful of buying really close to the center. So FY1 is the postcode for right in the center. It's really rough. You wanna be like a mile or two outside. Um, go at night. Before you buy a house in Blackpool, visit at night, walk up and down the streets, and see if it feels safe at night. There are some really rough parts, but I do think that it's an up and coming area. The return on investment are absolutely fantastic. It's right near the beach. The whole seaside area is being lifted up and regenerated. Blackpool, you made the list, which leads me to number three. Number three is Portsmouth. Now, Portsmouth is an area that I'd have never have thought I'd say for a really good investment area. However, a lot of my students have been buying apartments or even not buying them, renting apartments and have been listing them on Airbnb. And Portsmouth is absolutely popping right now for serviced accommodation. The apartments are renting out for like three, four, five thousand pounds a month. It's just crazy. So Portsmouth had to make it to the list. Again, it's near the seaside, there's a lot of tourism. Um, it's a very nice area, it feels lovely, the people are great, and uh, Portsmouth is definitely, 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 if you're looking at buying a, an apartment for service accommodation, I just have to say Portsmouth right now, in my opinion, is probably the place to do it. Leads me to uh, number four, I'm counting the wrong way. I'm counting the wrong way. Number two, okay, number two, which is the valleys. 
the valleys of Wales, South Wales in particular, uh, Newport. There's so many properties. Again, you can mine for like 50, 60 grand. Um, Hannah Mills, Jamie Higgs. I just had a message from Jamie from Newport who said, Samuel, I want to come around your house and shake your hand. I'm now a millionaire. He lives in Newport. He's investing in Newport. What's he doing? He's buying houses, adding value, refinancing them. There are so many buy, refurbish, refinance opportunities and fixer-upper and flips that you can do in the valleys in Wales. Love the valleys of Wales. I've got houses there myself. Definitely number two, which leads me to number one. Where is it at? And this will probably surprise you, but my favorite investment area right now for myself is Buckinghamshire. Buckinghamshire, just outside London, I had to say it as number one because that's where I'm personally investing. I have eight sites at the moment, all in Buckinghamshire that I'm working on. And it, Aylesbury, uh, just outside Beck, Beaconsfield, High Wycombe, this is where I've got a lot of my stuff going on. Even London itself, because Buckinghamshire is just outside of London. In the past, I've spoken negatively about London as a buy-to-let area, but I do think that London's exciting at the moment. And the reason is, is because of what happened with the lockdown, commercial properties took a massive hit and prices have dropped significantly in, in, in many parts of London and I can see London coming back huge. And right now I'm investing on the outskirts of London in Buckinghamshire, which is, I mean, I live just 20 minutes on the train to Marleybone. So I'm really, really excited about Buckinghamshire. A lot of development opportunities. You can do things like buy a house, a rubbish house, knock it down and build a really nice house and make six-figure profits and more. So, Buckinghamshire, London, I love you, great patch. Most important lesson is this though. There is no magic area. It depends on you. Where do you know? What is your strategy? You can make money just about anywhere in the world. It's really important that instead of thinking, oh, Newcastle is the area, and just buying a random house in Newcastle, it's better to find a good deal. And there are good deals in just about any and every city, but those are right now the five areas that I'm most excited about for property investment. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments where you think is best and where you are buying right now, and I'll be sure to see you real soon in the next video. Subscribe, hit like for more, and I think you'll really enjoy this video up here as well. Check it out, and I'll see you soon.